Introducing MagWorks Automatic Magnetometer Testing and Calibration System, the new standard. The system seen here is a 100 gauss coil with a power supply designed to check handheld pocket style magnetometers. This video will demonstrate methods to properly align the coil, removing air caused by the Earth's magnetic field. Show how to align handheld magnetometers inside the coil, how easy it is to cross check magnetometers in both automatic mode and by manually adjusting the coil current till the handheld magnetometer reads the desired gauss. As we can see to the right, the power supply HPS1-3059A and to the left, a 100 gauss coil. All the necessary fixtures and components to check magnetometers is standard. There is no additional parts needed. This is a turnkey solution. First step after plugging in the laser and power leads is to align the coil. We will be doing this with an off-the-shelf compass anyone can purchase from a local sporting goods store. To make it easier to read, a piece of paper is placed under the compass. For proper alignment, the coil's main openings are set to 90 degrees to the north and south magnetic poles. We see the coil is only slightly out of alignment. This alignment must be checked regularly as it shifts slightly throughout the year. Misalignment will add or subtract to the readings causing erroneous measurements, so always make sure the coil is aligned. With a few simple twists of the coil's base, the coil is aligned. One can also align the coil with a magnetometer if it reads in milligauss, as seen here. Make sure whatever device you use to align the coil, it is square with the coil's openings, or the coil will be misaligned. With this gauss meter, we use the bottom of the endpoints on the scale readings, the zero measurement, and the test arrow at the bottom of the magnetometer for alignment inside the coil. With a slight twist of the base, we see the slightest movement can add several milligauss of air, so proper alignment is critical. Let's start checking magnetometers. The first step in checking magnetometers is aligning the magnetometers in the coil, making sure the test point of the magnetometer is parallel to the coil's opening. With this style of magnetometer, we have four points to make alignment very easy. Zero point of the scale, the test arrow at the bottom of the magnetometer, and the scale itself. This allows for a consistent placement of the magnetometer every time. We will check the magnetometer in automatic mode. All we have to do is turn the range knob to equal the max scale of the magnetometer under test. Set the output switch to auto, the laser switch to auto, and press the standby button. This starts the automatic test. As we see, the power supply cycles through three pre-programmed set points. For a 20 gauss magnetometer, the system checks 5, 10, and 20 gauss. After completing the positive polarity check, the power supply automatically reverses polarity. This is indicated by the red light under the heading Coil. Switching views over the magnetometer, we see the test cycle again. The magnetometer reads 5 gauss fine. At 10 gauss, it goes slightly past. And at 20 gauss, it reads too much. Let's see what the negative polarity results are. 5 gauss is good. Ten gauss check reads nine point five. The twenty gauss check reads eighteen point five gauss. This magnetometer needs some adjustment as it exceeds the stated spec of plus or minus five percent. 
Moving on to a 100 gauss magnetometer, we will see just how easy it is to change settings to check magnetometers with five times the range of the previous meter. It makes no difference if you are checking a 5 gauss magnetometer or a 100 gauss magnetometer. All one needs to do is rotate the range knob to the appropriate test. Push a button, record the results, and you are done. The power supply starts. At 25 gauss, the magnetometer reads 25 gauss. First test point, good. Second test point, 50 gauss. The magnetometer reads 50. Now 100 gauss, check. The magnetometer reads 100, and the power supply reads 100. Now, let's watch the reverse polarity. Twenty five good. Fifty is good. And a hundred gauss. As we see, this magnetometer is good and ready to go and be used in production.